Now to another dangerous situation near San Diego State where just hours ago gunshots rang out about a mile from campus. And our breaking news tracker was there as well as fire trucks rushed to the scene and 10 News reporter Rachel Bianco is there live now. Rachel, this happened right where many students live. You're right, Steve, and this police tape is expected to be up for at least another hour. You can see where the bullets shattered most of the windows in that car. This is Colwood Boulevard. You have families and condos on one side, students and apartments on the other. Tonight, people throughout this area heard the gunfire. Fire trucks sped into the neighborhood, sirens blaring. An ambulance not far behind. A police helicopter could be heard circling. This followed frightened calls to police from neighbors. It seemed like it was, uh, a, you know, bang, 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 bang. Stuart Clark was in his garage in these condos on Colwood Boulevard at Colwood Lane, roughly a quarter mile from the campus of San Diego State. And I heard in succession probably five or six shots. These yellow evidence markers give you an idea just how many shots were fired. We counted at least 11. The bullet shattered the windows on at least one car. One man was shot in the arm. Police found the victim after following his blood trail. A lot of college kids live in the apartments off Colwood Boulevard. Crime tape blocked the road for hours, many of them escorted to their cars by police. You can see the police out here. They've been searching with flashlights uh, since about 7 o'clock tonight. I just checked. Right now they don't know what motivated this shooting, and at this point nobody is in custody. Reporting live in Talmadge, Rachel Bianco, 10 News.